and I and it, he uh, placed on my heart where uh, the Lord began. When he came out of being proven in the wilderness, now he had already he had already been ministering from from a young kid up to 30 years old. But uh, along with the Sanhedrin being released into ministry 30 to 50 years old, he went about it and he did that the, that the law might be complete. When he went to be baptized, he said, no, 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 that the law might be complete. And so he was, he was water baptized and he, he went into the wilderness and he was proven 40. 40 days, the time of probation in numerology. And this goes over and over and over again. It's not one time of probation in our life. Our whole life on earth is probation. Amen? And we're going through in a way, and it's a grand time. Don't get me wrong. But I'm, I'm, uh, I'll am I'm, be glad to blow this joint. I tell, I tell somebody that at least a half a dozen times a week. And, uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm ready, but in the meantime, and I'm talking about the world system, not the church here, and that I'm, I'm enjoying, I'm still enjoying that because it's a free flight. I, uh, I thank God if He sends me in, and, and I know most of saved people are in the institutional church world. They just are. It's there. It's in there. And and the whole thing about it is, I praise God that if you. If you're walking with Christ and, and salvation is 90% of equity, you know, you're on equal ground with it and all. Hallelujah. You're not, because you're Pentecostal or, or, or you're kingdom people, you're, you're not an elite. You're, you're unique. You're unique in that. I feel bad for local assemblies are called mainly for building up the saints. They're not called as as uh, first day salvation houses. They're not that primary thing. But unfortunately, most of it that you go in, but that's better than just a secular humanist church. That's better. Much better. And there is love there because they're born again people that are there. So I appreciate all that. So as he came out of that 40 days, and I'm in Matthew chapter 4, and what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to freshly loosen an attitude adjustment today to be of this attitude. They're called the Beatitudes. And uh, I want to release that today. That's why God has placed in my heart this parallel. There's hundreds of things on my heart. Thank you, Lord, for reeling me in. <laughs> Are you reeling in the years, throwing away the time? Who sung that? Um, Steely Dan. Steely Dan. Hallelujah. Praise God. Steely Dan was prophesied. Amen. The Lord uses all of it. Even Mick prophesied at times. Amen. And, uh, different things. So I appreciate all that. And he said in here when he when he'd come down and he'd gone through those forty days and he had uh, he had been tempted in the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the boastful pride of life those three main areas of temptation that leads into sin. And from the word that was given earlier about the, the mushroom cloud going out in here, I saw that I saw the, uh, the depression that leads people into sorcery so much, whether it's alcohol or, or drugs or, or, or sex or food or a hundred other things that lead them in, you know, other gods. And I, uh, I saw the Lord releasing that in simplicity, purity, devotion. This is where the, it's released. It's released in the wilderness little flock. Mm -hmm. It's usually not released that much in the big house. It's released in the, in the, in the little flock that God is giving the kingdom to. He said, I have chosen to give the kingdom to the little flock. Amen. To those that are looking to Him. And just this today. So I, I come out of this, uh, this time of 40 days of probation and uh, being released in this fresh unction, this fresh grease of the Lord. And, uh, and, and, he, and He said there, were, there was a great multitude there. And we go into chapter 5 in this attitude adjustment. Be of my attitude, he says. 
And when he saw the great multitude, he went up on the mountain, the Sermon on the Mount. He sat down, and his learners, his disciples, came to him. And opening his mouth, he began to teach them, saying, Happy, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you that are poor in spirit. When, the, when this fresh visitation of the Lord to me in my poverty of spirit is all Him. It's Pastor Holy Spirit that, I, that, that fills me every day. I live and move, Acts chapter 17, I live and move and have my very being and existence in Pastor Holy Spirit. Amen. And He's new and He's fresh. And even what comes out of the mouth and... and uh, I'm amazed at the Lord when you get through being with the Holy Ones and I just I, I, I walk away and I've many times I've told the Lord man I learned a lot right then Lord and he said yeah and you were the one speaking and I learned a lot Lord I just walked away and I said well that's good then as you know uh, traveling evangelist or whatever and this is how I was a traveling evangelist and preacher back uh when I stumbled onto this house right here back in 1985. Got lost, coming down 29. Supposed to have been over in Highlands County. But some way I got here. And uh, the Lord led me out to where I live now. Thrasher Dam. And looking up unto Mount Pleasant, listening to the Lord, the, the word that came. Look up unto these mountains, these hills, from whence coming by hell. And I saw a, a slight vision, I, and I just said, Here? I don't know anything about this. I knew that I was, we were coming. The Lord was moving, Barbara and I. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> actually, she, well, she told me, you, you go find a place. We just got back from the mission field, and you go find a place. You and the Lord don't need me right now. So I, I, I did. I, I, was, I was under her prayer covering at that time. And here we are today in this same room. Now, maybe y'all remember, but I can't remember where the where the uh, the cash register was. Do you remember the old 7-Eleven here? Can you remember where it was? Was it right it was there? It there before you got the door. Because the, the uh, was the big gulp machine over here against the wall? I can't remember. But anyway, it was a good big gulp. It really was at that time. And uh, very good big gulp. I enjoyed it. Went on for there. Forty, uh, right now, forty years ago, stumbled on there. Eighty-five, and here we are standing here today. He reminded me of that. Well, it will be forty years. Mm -hmm. But like Jesus, I know that I'm coming out of another probation, and I'm going, I'm going into a time period. But all of us, it's a corporate, it's a corporate going forward, and each of us is structured and we function. Romans chapter 12, functional areas, how the Father lives His life to in and through each of us. Those seven areas in, in Romans 12. We're all, and God now is bringing us all corporately together. Not only in that, but in the gifts of the Spirit. You know, the in, uh, in Corinthians 12 through 14, and He's bringing all of this together. But I want to loosen these right now, this attitude. So the poor in spirit, that is first of all, he stands in that way, and I'm always. I don't tell the Lord a whole lot. I, in fact, I, I, I go times, and if y'all think it's wrong, please pray for me. I tell people I'll go a week or two and not, not repent or confess anything because I don't feel convicted. And, I, and, and the Lord's using me, and uh, I'm praying the salvation prayer with people, and... Uh, and uh, baptism of the Spirit and all different types of things on the phone, in, in, in the face to face, and all these things. And uh, so, I thank the Lord that this is a continuous attitude adjustment. And blessed are those who mourn, for they are comforted. And part of that is that, that, that life of apostolic intercession. A couple of years ago, Hebrews chapter 3. No, was it Hebrews three? Yeah, Hebrews three. When we when we did a, you, you sat me down in the room, did a podcast, isn't that what they call it? And uh, and uh, consider Jesus, 
the apostle and high priest of our faith. And that's what it went off of. And Drew sent it out from there. And uh, so we're, we're gathered once again in that same sweet Holy Spirit today. And, and happy are you when you mourn for, for to feel that comfort, to experience that comfort of the Lord. Lord, I need your comfort, your spirit of comfort. Mourn has to be a foundation of it. And that comes as being the priesthood, the house of prayer, being released in that. Deep groaning and intercession that God brings on. Blessed are the meek, the gentle, for they shall inherit the earth. They shall inherit the earth. Now we get a little inheritance here. But I, thank you very much. I don't want this earth. I want the one that's coming. The new heaven and the new earth. Mm -hmm. I want the spiritual earth. Yes, I am inheriting the giftings of the Lord. The character of the Lord. The, the, the giftings and the power of the Lord. But what I'm really looking forward to. That last couple of verses in, in Corinthians 16 where he, where he cries out and he said, all of a sudden he jumps, the Holy Ghost within Paul. May they be accursed who love you not. May they be accursed who love you not. Even so come quickly. Now that's the movement, you see. That's, that's truth. That's gentleness. Amen. May they be accursed who love you not. It's throughout the Bible. It's balance. God calls it balance, you know. And it keeps us out of what, what the old timers call sloppy agape and greasy grace, you know. And old, old things we've heard all of our lives, amen. It, it is the balance that God keeps us in. And being of this attitude is a balance. So the meek are mainly inheriting the earth that is coming. Hallelujah. I'm looking forward to that. I got an investment in that. Mostly everything that I do have is on the other side, to be quite honest with you. What I, what I do have here is quickly passing away. And uh, I thank God for that provision. Blessed, Lord, I loosen right now the happiness and the blessing of those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. Amen. For righteousness, Lord God. The, the, the just, the righteous live by faith. So when we release this, deep faith is being released right now. Not our, not our faith. That's a grain of little corn, but the faith of the Son of God being released within us. Big, big calling unto big. Deep calling unto deep right now as we release this in the presence of the Lord. Right here on 29, God. Right here on 29, Lord God. In between the Protestant capital and the political. I thank you, Lord God, for, for that woman many centuries ago named Elizabeth I. This state was named after her. Now, there's a lot of stories about her. She was this, she was that. But one thing I'll say about her is that she released the unction to bring in this Israel of God called the United States. Amen. The natural Israel, the old one, Across the water. We're even tied to that. We are tied to that. Amen. Mm -hmm. But the Lord brought forth 50 states. And that's why they've been fighting for 20 or 30 years to get it past 50, you see. But the Lord wants to leave it in that 50 jubilee to freedom. There it is. He leaves it there. They fought so hard to make this and that. And we got protectorates around the world and and different things, but 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 the fifty has been complete. It's done. It's done now. Even though even though the walls and the borders and a lot of wicked people are getting in, some some people that are being saved are getting in right now. And who are who am I praying for with the Palestinians versus the the natural Hebrew people? I'm praying for the Messianic Jews and the Christian Palestinians that are fasting and praying yes. together in home groups while all the bombs are dropping yes. around them. Amen? Yes. This is going on right now. Now how much of the news is told in that? How much of that is released? None. None. Amen? But we see that. 
And it doesn't, it doesn't. Praise the Lord. He's, I, I, the greatest miracle of all to me is that he keeps this line, this vertical relationship in constant growth. Hallelujah, carrying me to new places. And from that vertical, this horizontal. Not only with the holy ones, hallelujah, hallelujah, but, but with the pagans. With those that are uh, in, in, any, in any mega church, there's, there's, there's a cross section of population. You got people that are on fire for the Lord in that mega church. You got some nominal people in that church. You got some people that are slowly coming into the Lord, mm -hmm. and you got some that are slowly leaving the Lord. Mm -hmm. You got all of this that's going on. It might not have to be that big a church. Mm -hmm. Population rising. And these things are written in the volume of the book. God, God reminds us by way of repetition, He says this. And and just by just by this moment, this opportunity, this this um, gift that you've given me to be here in this place. This place of love. And I, I Two weeks ago I drove up in the parking lot and I hadn't driven up the parking lot this place. I sat out there and prayed for a while. And I said, boy, this feels good. Mm -hmm. If I could have gotten me in the door and got me a big gulp, I would have. It, <laughs> it was gone. It was gone. Mm -hmm. But they're good memories. They're good memories. And Sharon all the release right now. Hallelujah. The Lord has given us this authority. Hallelujah. For this simple, pure release right now. And as we're sitting here, each one of us are actually preaching right now. This is how it is. We are all preaching right now. The Lord has so pushed back to the flock of people that are sitting. You know, we're none sitting. We're all standing in the Lord. We're all sharing. We're all, if we are in union, and I praise God, they called this, they fought for this country to stay together a long time ago. And it was called the union. The step past the working relation of unity, put on, put on love, which is the perfect bond of unity, it says in there. Put it on, hallelujah, is union, full union. Kingdom message, full union. Amen? It's coming in. Already, I'm married to it. You're married to it. Amen? It's taken place in the eternal now. Where this was written, in the eternal now. This is taking place, all of this, right now. And uh, when you get old, man, he's got to speed it up in there. I still believe. Right, Brenda? You know that. <laughs> Amen. Before I even moved up here, what a... When, when people would, uh, or right after it, before we had been discipling, I would take it over to Marvin and people got saved and put them in, you know, a couple of places if it was over near Phil Wiley or this or that. Ones that I knew. And uh, so, uh, thank you, Lord, for that. For this uh, renewal going on right now. Amen. Amen. So we're being satisfied because that the faith of the Son of God is being poured out to us. The righteous and the just shall live by faith. Amen. Number uh, verse seven: Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Amen. And I can, I can release that God, God withholding what they do deserve, what what Jojo Biden deserves right now. And I call names. I, they tell me all the time, look at it. Your funds are picking up these things and everything. Then I start talking a lot faster and getting a whole lot more in. <laughs> Hallelujah. What is it that you say? And I say that. I, I would, the, the times that guns have been pulled on me, I felt a little scared right for a moment. But then the Lord rose up in me. <laughs> the old man felt afraid for a moment. But then the Lord rose up in me. Hallelujah. I thank God for that. Oh, thank you, Lord God. Praise you, Lord God, for that. Well, so we obtain mercy. Amen. 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 I can look to Him. I can look to all the foolishness. And it's not just in Democrats. It's Republicans, Independents. It's in Russia. It's the same everywhere. It's the same everywhere. Those points of falling short of the glory of God. Amen. Amen. It's falling that way. And this is what God told us it would be like. 
in that final day, 